Hello everybody, welcome to the kind of final game of Group B, Week 5. We've got Artemis Black and his Orcs versus Crucifer and his Humans. Artemis is eliminated, whatever happens here. And at this point in time, Crucifer knows the result of the Andy Davo match, but not the result of the Hiru match. So... A draw is definitely good for Crucifer here. A win is obviously good for Crucifer. On a loss, he could get, um, he could lose the tiebreakers to like Andy Davo and potentially Hiru. So basically, a draw is good for Cruz. At this point that this played, it wasn't. This is a replay. Everybody played like all of the games last night at more or less the same time. So. Um, I'll tell you later, Sambo Simon. Stick around. <laughs> Stick around and I'll explain all. I'll do like a little uh, I'll do a little thing. Yeah, basically all of the games run at the same time, so I couldn't cover them all. So um Right. So here we go. We've got Artemis presumably chose to receive. So yeah, Art is just playing like, you know, for pride here kind of thing. You know, it's still good practice, isn't it? It's still good games, uh, playing versus other top top players I and mean, obviously Cruz is a top player uh, a lot of made was the fact that you know he grinded out the top teams in the ladder which you know he did and like you know people act like anybody could do that and they couldn't do that you know it's it's not just having the time it's uh it takes you know serious dedication and you see that in the way he plays right like you know if uh if Cruz's defense gets you know if Cruz gets stopped on offense then he, he digs in doesn't he and he tries everything he can to get the stop on defense or the turnover on defense and stuff, whereas some other people kind of, you know, throw in the towel a bit, whereas he never, he never ever, ever gives up Cruz. Like, he's pretty incredible. Um, the tenacity of Cruz is legendary. So, you know, anyway, so, it, but obviously, he's, he, I didn't like Art's build, to be honest. I, I don't feel like it's got a great build here, right? He's only got three guards. Uh, that's, that's not great, is it? Um, Cruz has got, three guards which I oh, I really don't think three guards is enough for Cruz even but uh, oh see so he's just trying to break through the, the that was pretty unlucky right pretty unlucky there he's trying to break through the uh, the stupid troll on threes with dodges so he won in nine and got KO'd now obviously he was unlucky to uh, to go stupid but there you go yeah, I mean, got, you've got to cheer on the underdogs, yeah. Quite a, <laughs> quite a nice, it's a crazy colour scheme for Art. This lime green is pretty disgusting. He could have gone with a darker green for the Welsh flag, but he didn't. Uh, doesn't get the power on three dice, re-rolls it, still doesn't get the power. And he has tackles, so, you know, it was <laughs> it was pretty flipping likely then. Tackle 90. I wanted to put him down, because he can't really fully protect the ball. Troll goes stupid again. Nothing has solidified not taking the troll like like this tournament, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, uh, yep, I... Given the way how my troll has performed and how Art's troll has performed, um, I have no doubts in my mind that I am never, ever taking a troll ever again. Um, as orcs in any format. Yep. Nope. Dodges from tackle, puts in the re-roll. I guess he had four, right? So now he's he's gone away from his pressure um, with Art making the pickup. Wow, he's made a million dodges here. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it probably is that bad. Yeah, just because like you're giving up, like you're only giving up a, an apothecary for him, right? But. You're still often taking like a random KO on a drive, right? And having that extra player on the pitch, very strong. You know, like I had a I had a guard biggin KO'd in my game. Well, I could have appoed him and kept a guard biggin on the drive, right? Keeping that guard biggin on the drive might have made the difference. Um, the thing that the thing that's different about my troll and Art's troll is Art has a mighty blow character as well, right? Whereas. Um, he was my only source of mighty blow, and like, it's the same for Cruz here, right? The the guard is his only mighty blow, so he's put block on it so that he can uh, he can blitz with his ogre all the time. But um, 
So like it, 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 had, it has got the mighty blow going for it, you know, you can try and high roll. And uh, the good thing against Diamond, I was able to get like, you know, 2Ds with my troll. And even 3Ds sometimes, you know, try and get lucky with mighty blow. Whereas without it, you're left a bit toothless. So um, I was actually able to get more guard than Diamond by having a troll for my mighty blow. So it, it's not that bad, but it's just it's just so annoying, you know, when like you double one, like I, I had a, you know, he, he failed to stand up and then failed to stand up again. And it's just, it's just so annoying, right? Like even against really good players, um, he just, you know, like you can't absorb the ones as well. Like, although like you kind of need to get luckier versus Chris than you do against like, you know, a random person. So, like, that's what the troll's good for, right? The high roll. But even in the loss of reliability is an absolute killer, you know? Like, it, it, less power and more reliability, I think, is very, very good. So, there you go. Yep, nice removal there for Art. Two players up. Pretty strong. Crew's getting pretty mauled by Orcs, but again, just blitzing with his Ogre every turn. Because he's got block and mighty blow. See, there we go. Pa power Apo from uh, Art. Art actually had 11 players in an Apo rather than 12 players. And he does Apo that. And yeah, like that guard biggin, right? Like that's three more turns of a guard biggin. That's, you know, that's pretty good, isn't it? And it might be more, right? He could have filled his KO rolls. So. So ev even with the nerf to the Apo, it, it's still very good. Yeah, no penetration for Art, though. I'm surprised he didn't, like, base up as he, you know, he blitzed and got that removal. He didn't base up to try and push down the, push down there at all. Yeah, I don't really like this, because it's not, it's not a very positional blitz, is it? Now I realise he's got the mighty blow and he wants to blitz with mighty blow, but I feel like maybe blitzing this guy and trying to turn the corner was better. Hello, red hair. Yep. Yeah, Chris versus Art is, uh, you know. We've got Chris versus Art. We've got Christopher, who's won the chalice seven times. And Artemis, who made the second round uh, one time in seven tries. <laughs> 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 Crucifer has the same conversion rate of entering Chalice and winning it than Art has of entering Chalice and making the second round. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. But I mean, Art is, Art is good at Blood Bowl, right? Art is good at Blood Bowl, but, um, you know, obviously, like, he has underperformed in Chalice and Cruz has done amazingly in Chalice. Right, so... Yeah, the, the you know the f the fun thing is to blitz with the uh, troll, but yeah, he's gonna blitz with a mighty blow. Obviously, get get all the assists in. Blitz with mighty blow and uh, fail. And now he gets a bit of penetration. Turn six. It's funny though, isn't it? That last blitz, the mighty blow blitz last turn. Had it been around this side, now obviously maybe his crew wouldn't have defended as strong over here. But you know. It's interesting how that might have made for a, a stronger turn this turn as well. Well, the stats, the stats support it on ladder, right? His ladder win rate is astonishing, right? And, you know, he's got he's got the top the top win rate with a bunch of races from Blood Bowl two, and uh, had like you know about an eighty percent win rate overall and stuff. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the uh, the cup he did rubbish <laughs> um, and obviously he hasn't done very well in Blood Bowl Super League either um, I don't know I think Rainer was still higher uh, Red Hair I think Rainer's was still higher and maybe Hammer's as well Hammer's was pretty high I'm not sure oh hello Rainer <laughs> I think Rainers was higher. But yeah, I mean, he's undoubtedly good at Blood Bowl. He just didn't have a lot of luck in the cup. Hasn't had a lot of luck in this. He's, I mean, he's had some luck this drive, mind, hasn't he? Three removals. 
And uh, but you know, look, Cruz is just battling to stay in, isn't he? Cruz is. Uh, this is the thing. Like this is Cruz's mental is just unmatched, isn't it? Basically, unrivaled. Cruz's uh, Cruz's mental game. He he really is. He is the John Cena. <laughs> he is the John Cena of Blood Bowl. Is Cruz? Nah, so we're gonna dodge. I think maybe, I think maybe, well, it's funny, right, because um, Devo was similar to Art in that Devo did rubbish in the Chalice for a long time. And, like, I felt he played differently in the Chalice than he should have done. Oh, wow, we've got to do a dodge to protect it here. I mean, there's two dodges this turn that he had to make. Oh, and he fails that one. Flip me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, this team build isn't the best. Um, just goes for the 1D surf. Doesn't get it, re-rolls. Dodges. Was the dodge off of the Garda better than just doing the 1D there? Because it's still like a 1 in 9 to fail, right? Um, but on the both down, on the blitz, you don't get the surf. No, no, it's be but you're more likely to surf if it works. But no, I, no, I guess it's not, is it? Because if the one in nine works, it's a work. So yeah, I guess just just hitting it is better. Yeah, very small sample size. So his teams were usually rubbish in the chalice, right? And some of the qualifications were when he was before he was as good. And then this competition, it's a very small sample size where he hasn't had very good dice in any game. But I mean, he had the dice this half, right? He had a KO and two, two KOs and a Kaz. Um, he had fine dice this half. Like, okay, Chris made a load of dodges and stuff, but you would have expected Art to have uh, got through here normally. God, has he got to pass it from a big one? Oh no, he's, he's got he's got a guy here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI? No, he doesn't even need a GFI, does he? Because he can't get it quicker. Oh, he's handing off to the big one. That's better. Yeah, that's better than throwing, isn't it? That's better than throwing. Yeah, no, he did the right play. Right, I'm stupid. Where where was the? Oh, I'm going back in turns. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI, handoff. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? There's no other play. There's no other play than this. This was definitely the right play. Yeah. Yeah, there was a side cage that he needed to do two dodges to to get the side cage up. Like obviously the dodge from the thrower and then the dodge. It's not it's not unlikely, is it? He gets those two dodges off and gets through. But I feel like he should have, you know, with all the removals, he should have done something better, right, in the previous turns. And you would feel he would have done better normally. And yeah, it seems funny to have to keep saying that art's good when when, when he's. When he's losing all the games, <laughs> but um, he is good. He's you know he has not the dice, and yeah, maybe, maybe he does buck under pressure a little bit. Who knows? You know, he, do, he does tend to uh, shout about the dice and stuff, and you know maybe that does translate into tilting sometimes. Whereas Cruz is completely unflappable, isn't he? Cruz is Cruz is a million percent unflappable. Yeah, exactly. That's a very good point. Red hair. Yep. Yeah, so if you if you're already like you know coughing up blood and stuff or vomiting, then um, you're gonna feel less enthused about <laughs> giving 110 percent to win a little children's game, aren't you? But yeah, Chris is Chris is incredible. So there we go nil nil. So now Chris is looking really good, right? Because if Chris scores at any point on this drive, he'll get the draw. So um, and Chris only needs the draw to top the group. Yeah, yeah. A draw will top the group for uh, Cruz. Because he, he, he doesn't know the result of the Hiru game. Um, but 
he knows that if he draws, he will be above um, Andy Devo. And then, so even if it, even if Hiru wins, Hiru will be on seven. And if Cruz draws, he'll be on seven. And then we'll have the tiebreak over Hiru. So a draw is a hundred percent good for Cruz. Oh, there we go. Uh, instant apple there. Power apple. See, look how powerful an apple is there on that KO guy. It's an extra lineman for like, you know, nine. To, well, six turns. And <laughs> so I said nine turns. Six turns. I was I tried it to, because <laughs> it, it's it, there's eight turns right, and one had gone because he, he like he, he unstuns. So you, I don't know why I tried to take two and then added one instead of taking two. But there you go. Um, yeah. Yeah. Eleventh of June is cross play. Yeah. Yeah, and his, his win rate versus uh, good players was like the highest of anybody, right? You know, on the stats. Uh, uh, Garyon had all the stats, you know, and it was like win rate versus bad players and win rate versus good players and stuff. And uh, that's win rate versus good players on the ladder was was you know about the highest there was. Wow, Apple and Apple reroll comes in there. That's a bit of a surprise, bit of a surprising reroll because it wasn't super unlikely to fail, was it? Is that going for a surf here? <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a surf, doesn't it? No, he's not. Instant one in nine. What a joke. I <laughs> did dodge get to Hinnick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. It's just good play to dodge get Hinnick, isn't it? And I think Art has like you know the best the best autopilot of everybody, right? Which obviously that translates massively into ladder because. Most of the ladder games, you know, like he's, he's always standing his player. Well, not always. Mostly standing his players up first, and, you know, safe moves first and all that sort of thing. Not always, to be fair. We've seen it in this. We've seen Art not pick players up and stuff. Um, you know, everyone does that sometimes, but yeah. Right. But in general, you know, a lot better than like Strider for that, right? We saw Strider in the... In the final, like he won, he won the season two final, Strider, and he was often, he was often like you know moving everybody and then like you know picking up a skink, you know halfway through the turn and stuff. Regularly, regularly, with Strider was picking up a player halfway through the turn, whereas you generally see Art always like you know pick players up. Well, here we go, big AV break, a stun. This was good anticipation from Chris here, wasn't it? He, he made all of this. He, ex he expected this, and he's, he's, you know, he's moved back a bit, screened everything off. So very hard for Art to get any traction here. And like, it's a very hard match for Chris, right? Because his team is. <laughs> bit pants, right? Humans. <laughs> Humans are a bit pants. But what he does have is, I mean, this is maybe a bit of an overcommit here from Art, right? Six players in, in, a, in this 3 by 4 square, so maybe a bit of an overcommit there from Art. Left this a bit open to uh, run around. Um, but yeah, I mean, humans are a bit rubbish, right? <laughs> so this isn't uh, this isn't great for Cruz. Not a great matchup, so he's got to you know, got to do some things. But what he does have, oh yeah, reroll this. Got to get the power. What he what he does have here is, uh, you know, he's got the movement of the catchers that he can hand off to. What he's he's holding it on one, isn't he? I think this is a catcher. He's holding it on one. He's got another handoff. Like humans have always got like the handoff and run away play versus orcs. And now that it's nil nil, you know, a one one draw is good for Chris. So, like this handoff score is like a huge threat for. For, uh, well, it's not really a threat to Art because Art's got nothing to play for. But <laughs> if Art had to draw, at least then you know, like whatever. The point is, this could be like this could be a cheeky little uh, handoff and score, right? Is a possibility. Yeah, the fact that a draw is good enough for Cruz means we might see a kind of a suboptimal play of two rerolls gone just to score, just to make sure he's it's done. But. Uh, he might still be confident enough that he doesn't go for that yet. <laughs> A 
sub up and will play every turn. Well, there you go. Art said he did check out a little bit due to the uh, due to the dice. And there you go. Oh, the double skulls. I think the dice haven't been very good for Chris, to be honest. I would say I would say uh, Ant's had the better dice here. I know Chris has made a lot of uh, dodges, but he's also got humans versus orcs, hasn't he? That's part of the deal. He has to make them. Like like uh, like uh, Coltrick versus me, right? Like he he made loads of dodges, but you know, inevitably he was going to have to attempt those dodges because his team was a bit rubbish. <laughs> Just has to take this draw, this draw, the push now. Yeah, I mean, when humans are dark elves, when humans get agility four for free, they're pretty strong, yeah. <laughs> As it turns out, but like that's what they have to do, isn't it? Versus, oh my god, double skulls. That's what they have to do versus orcs. They have to just make a million dodges and hope that they roll like dark elves. Which isn't isn't a good place to be, is it? It's the ball base, and then he stands this guy up halfway through the turn, you know, and very unart like, very unart like that. Oh my god, the double skulls. Okay, first action ogre. I mean, it's quite, it's quite, uh, it's quite reliable, right, with block. And that, um, I don't know if it was first action reliable, but I guess he, you know, maybe he would have taken a different line if he'd, uh, if he hadn't got that knockdown. Now he's through here and it's looking very good for Chris right now. Ooh, dodges this one. I thought he'd have dodged this to uh, come over here, right? I'd have done that dodge first. Obviously he just eats this one. Yeah, that, that seemed a much more important dodge to make. Like, that was just a 3 plus for a 2D. Um, I guess if he blocks here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, that's, that seemed the more important dodge there. Interesting. I guess he had, oh, he had dodge on this one. Okay, he had dodge on this guy. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally gets, a, well, the second Kaz. Made a couple of Kaz, made a couple of KO. He would have liked more damage, but... I don't think it was really a dicing. Um, I think maybe Art's perception was a bit skewed. I didn't think this was really much of a dicing at all. To be honest. Like the dodges are... Maybe it's one of those more subtle ones, right, that you feel when you're playing, right? Like uh, like my game versus Diamond, right? Where he was just, he was just, you know, powing every time and I was pushing. and You know, watching it, like there's no big swings that look terrible, right? But like, and you know, Coltrick versus me, right? Making all the dodges, because there isn't like there isn't like big swingy cas and stuff. Like you notice the cas more than you just notice. Like you know, if somebody makes four blocks and they're all pushers, if you're watching, you don't really notice that as much as when you're playing, right? So, um, you know, maybe it was, maybe it was uh, worse than what it looked like. But this looked just like. Uh, just a good old fashioned out playing from Christopher here. I would say. And, uh, yep, nothing for, for Art to do, just ends the turn. Cruz scores in, gets the 1 0 win. And, uh, presumably, Art will just end the turn. End the flip and turn, man. Yep. So there you go. Uh, a beautiful win for Cruz. And that concludes 
group B and we can have a look at the table now there you go Crucifer wins the group Andy Devo in second place Olivia Dulac managed to nab third at the end Hiru lost to Sol so Hiru dropped down to fourth Sol uh, went above Art with a win and Art cements his place at the bottom <laughs> but um, you know he did he did have some dice but yeah I think that one I think that one he uh, he lost rather than was diced out of to be honest so that that's an interesting one there you go um, but yeah congrats to Cruz and Andy and uh, we have our final lineup I, I guess I should have done that on the I don't know when I finished the group A um, actually but group A is finished as well so we can look at group A as well and that's group A Diomed won group A um, he drew his last game 0-0 versus me which I thought wouldn't have been good enough for myself but I was incredibly lucky in that Moomin Slayer beat Strider so uh, that stopped Strider from taking over uh, my spot and Cold Trip and Inarian, I don't think they'll be playing. I think I think uh, Inarian, I think Inarian's really busy at the moment, and I you know I think with it not being anything in the line, I think you know Inarian just hasn't, doesn't have any interest in playing this game. Um, but there you go. So that is Diamed, and uh, Diamed's won. So he's playing Andy Devo, and I'm second. So I am playing Christopher. So that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I'll be I've got you know obviously now playing Crucifer isn't good right like Crucifer's very good at Blood Bowl um, he's never going to give up absolutely tenacious but the thing is at least he's got humans right <laughs> at least he has humans and uh, oh god this isn't this isn't full size so there you go there's the semi-finals Diomed Winner of Group A versus Andy. Christopher, winner of Group B versus Jimmy. That they will be scheduled uh, this week, hopefully. Andy said he's away till Thursday. I don't know if he's on holiday or some tournament or what, what the hell he's doing, but he said he was away. Um, so, you know, maybe this weekend we might see we might see these games played. Um, so, yep, yeah, very exciting. And then, so that'll be the that deadline will be the 2nd, right? 2nd of June. And then... The final, the deadline will be the 9th of June, so we'll get it wrapped up before the next season starts, you see. I did time it. I did time the league so that we'd finish before the next season starts. And I think that's what I'll do. With, like, every season, every ladder season, second half of the season, we'll have the Super League. And uh, that will hopefully be, you know, a pretty cool, a pretty little cool, pretty good cool little thing for us to do, you know. like um, So we'll have the first half of the season, we'll have the, the like, the... See, you know the chalice playoffs and then the second half of the season we'll have this and you know hopefully a lot of people will come back and stuff and maybe switch some people around like maybe he's invite Andre right Andre uh, top the ladder is in the final of chalice obviously great player Core's back playing Blood Bowl 3 a little bit you know so could get Core in and stuff so you know maybe we'll, we'll you know Inarian didn't seem very enthusiastic so maybe you know we can switch some people around and stuff each season and uh, yes there you go that, that was this season of so far that was the regular season of Super League done and then we've got the so we've just got three games left the semi-finals and the final very exciting and uh, there you go thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic